Good afternoon and welcome to Lunchtime News. You're with me, Sarah Lafonseca. Well, before we head into our stories, first we'll take a look at your headlines. Med Department warns of strong winds in the island. Strong winds claim the life of a woman in Godagama Mathara. Five arrested for the possession of heroin in Colombo and Pilimathalava. Spanish Football Federation names Luis Enrique as national team coach. Into one of your leading stories now, a tense situation erupted during the Nittabur Pradeshya Sabha meeting. The meeting took place at the Nittambur Pradeshya Secretariat. Former President Chandrika Bandaranaika Kumaratunga chaired the meeting. The situation escalated during the speech made by Chairman of the Atanagala Pradeshya Sabha, Priyanta Pushpa Kumara. <laughs> Even though the activities of the council were later carried out as usual, tensions rose when Chairman Pushpa Kumar expressed his views on the awarding of a garbage-related contract. Wildlife officials were able to successfully capture a wandering wild elephant in the Hambe Gamu area early today. It was reported that the elephant had been causing large damages to the cultivation and property in the area over the last 12 days. The mission to capture the elephant was launched by Udavalava and Kaltota wildlife officials. Our reporters stated that wildlife officials captured the animal in a forest reserve in Hambigamur. Wildlife officials further added that a number of gunshot wounds were also found on the body of the elephant. The elephant is said to be moved to the Horopotana Elephant Sanctuary. Karwalagaswava in Putlam is constantly affected by wild elephants. The News First team went to the area to understand the daily sufferings of these people. The locals of Karwalagaswava suffer every day as a result of the presence of wild elephants in the area. According to the residents, the animals destroyed the fruits of their labour and their efforts over years in one night. This is Karwalagaswava, an area about one and a half kilometers from the main road. This paddy field is one where the human elephant conflict is at its peak. What you see is a paddy field that has been destroyed by about 10 elephants just last night. This is how we found the elephants roaming these areas even during the day. Villagers request the relevant authorities to help them find a solution to the human elephant conflict in the area. Minister of Sustainable Development and Wildlife Field Marshal Sarat Fonseca held a discussion with the residents of Atragalava and Kiruoya of the Alahari Divisional Secretariat. Discussions were focused on the human elephant conflict. <laughs> I've made plans for one year. I will solve 95% of the problems by that time. There are about 5,000 elephant fences in Sri Lanka, enough to stretch across the entire country. We are making plans to set up 2,500 more. There will be about 7,000 elephant fences then. These cost a lot, but the cost is not an issue. He told the director of wildlife that he has more money than the millionaires in the country. There is 5 billion rupees in the bank account, not his but that of the wildlife department. An illegal alcohol racket carried out close to the Andhradapuri Teaching Hospital was raided by the police. 
The raid was carried out as a result of a tip-off received by the Anuradhapura Police Intelligence Unit. The police stated that the racketeers have been supplying alcohol to both in-house patients and hospital employees over a period of time. Two individuals who came into the hospital to sell alcohol while portraying themselves as visitors were taken into police custody as a result. Police stated that 20 containers of alcohol and a three-wheeler that were in possession of the suspects were taken into custody. While investigations into the matter are set to continue, the suspects are to be presented at the Anuradhapura Magistrates Court. Residents of Putlam are severely inconvenienced due to a constant breakdown in the supply of power made by a staff of the Putlam Electricity Board. Disrupt Residents say that they are frequently disrupted of power every day. According to the residents, the power disruption yesterday morning was restored only at 7 p.m. last night. 1,920 litres of milk was collected at the central exchange way and spoiled as a result of powder disruption. A suspect in possession of 237 grams of heroin worth 3 million rupees has been arrested by the customs at the Central Mail Exchange in Colombo. Police have heroin gram Pansiano de Kak Santake Tabagine, Motra taken Kaman Kermin City. Custom Media spokesperson and director Sunil Jai Ratna said two other suspects were also arrested based on information received when interrogate the suspect in custody. The suspects are residents of Colombo. Sunil Jai Ratna said the suspects and the stock of heroin have been handed over to the Police Narcotics Bureau for further investigations. With that, we move on to more local news. The Sri Lankan Singers Association says the funeral of the late singer Priyani Jai Singha will take place on Thursday evening at the Arugoda Panadura. Priyani Jai Singha was hacked to death by her husband at her residence in Panadura at around 8.45 p.m. on the night of the 8th of July. Priyani Jai Singha, a residence of Arugoda, Kuda Arugoda Panadura, is a mother of two. She was 51 years old at the time of her death. Her husband is currently under arrest as a suspect in her murder case. Strong winds that swept across Palagala Panala has damaged a number of houses in the area. Area residents said that strong winds were experienced in the area last evening along with light showers. According to News First correspondent Vandrit Rajapaksa, residents of the Central Hills region have been affected by the strong winds prevalent in the area. Meanwhile, the Med Department states that the possibility for increasing wind speed to a certain extent is still high over the island and surrounding sea areas. Showers will occur at times in western Sabragamo Central, northwestern and southern provinces. Light showers may occur in north central province. Fairly strong gusty wind up to 40 to 50 km per hour can be expected over the island, particularly in northern, north central, Uva, and northwestern provinces, and in Martale, Trincomalee, Ampara, and Hambantota districts. Do you want to contribute to Sri Lanka's progress? Do you want to do something to help our people? Do you want to be part of a movement that is inspiring a nation? You waited long enough. Your moment has arrived. Gamadha, one force. Let's do it. Sri Lanka, coming soon. Well, this is a wrap of lunchtime news for the day. Do join us again on our afternoon 55s with the very latest. More news follows on our website www.newsfirst.lk.